Hello, my name is Dr. Stuart Yeager. I'm a chiropractic physician specializing in holistic health and wellness care. I'm here to talk to you about different kinds of allergic reactions and different kinds of allergens. Last time we talked about the immediate and the delayed responses. The immediate response is within about two hours of being exposed to, to the allergen, and that occurs with more of uh, severe reaction that is more noticeable, like the hives, we're talking about the wheezing, the swelling, the rashes, uh, more severe anaphylactic shocks, things like that. The delayed reaction is the IgG response, it's a slower response, it occurs with, within uh, 36 and 72 hours after being exposed to the allergen. Here we get the GI symptoms, we get the sinus problems with the hay fever. We also get um, things like uh, dark circles, the chronic fatigue, the fibromyalgia, the acne, uh, wheezing, asthma, and things like that. So we want you to understand that there is the different kinds of reactions. There's also something else that you need to be aware of that is not a reaction at all. We call that a food intolerance. And people have symptoms as if it were an allergic reaction, but it's really not a reaction at all. It's an intolerance. An example of this would be like a food poisoning or a histamine reaction because there's too much histamine within the food or the thing that you've been exposed to. Lactose intolerance or wheat intolerance, gluc gluc uh, gluten intolerance. Also like food additives like MSG can cause that or sulfites, food preservatives. Also can be allergic uh, psychological reactions to different things so that can cause these kinds of symptoms. Now, as we mentioned before, that there's different kinds of allergens out there. One of them is the food. We've been talking a little bit about the food. Then there's the environment, like the palms and the grasses, and then they self with the autoimmune. So the food allergens, the most commonly things are like the, uh, the eggs and the meats and the different protein, corn and sugar and yeast, wheat, nuts, the tree nuts, and also things like uh, milk and shellfish. Even people can be allergic to vitamins like vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E. Now the most commonly caused food allergens are like the shellfish, the peanuts, the tree nuts, the fish and the eggs. Um, peanuts can also create a, as a common one, oftentimes we find that with children. The environmental allergens, we're talking about the dust and the molds and the fungus, the ponds and the grasses, we're also talking about the environmental pollutions out there. Here in Salt Lake County, we get the inversions that bring this out, and people have trouble with breathing at that time. It's been found that uh, a common mold or fungus that is in the air is a common cause with the sinus inflammation that, that creates an uh, allergic reaction that is very common also. That's in the environmental type of uh, allergic response that is very common. Now also the additives, we're talking about MSG, we're talking about things like aspartame, or even ingredients in cosmetics, um, nitrates, uh, and other kinds of sulfites. Now the autoimmune is another category that many people don't recognize or realize that it's actually a allergic response. It's when your body's just overreacting to yourself, your own tissues. It doesn't recognize it as it being normal, and so it doesn't recognize it being as, as self. We can, we, there's a lot of conditions out there that have that autoimmune diseases. We're talking about lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, even type 1 diabetes, the diabetes mellitus, gout, fibromyalgia, Raynaud's disease, uh, digestive problems like uh, celiac disease. All these things are, are, uh, are inflammatory bowel disease. So the, when people are allergic to themselves, what do you mean? We mean by that is that they're reacting to their own heart, your own kidney, your own lungs, your glands, your hormones, your nervous system, your circulatory system, your blood, veins, and arteries, and even some like bacteria that may be healthy in your body, but you're still reacting to that. We had a patient of ours come into our office. They were treating for her sinus allergies that were bothering her for years. And as we were doing that, after about our second or third treatment on the autoimmune, she told me about the stomach pain that she's had for years, and she's had upper GIs and scopes and different kinds of tests to find out what was going on. She could never find out what was going on. She's had with this pain for years. But as we did the autoimmune, the second or third treatment, the pain went away and she hasn't had it since. So we want you to know that there is an answer for these allergies out there. To learn more, go to our video on what causes allergies, or if you like, you can give us a call at 801-943-3355.